Yeah, the, the bench was great. You know, obviously, uh, it was great to see, especially coming off that game last night, you know, where, where our bench uh, obviously struggled. Uh, you know, Bryn had it going, 26 points. That was great to, to, to see him kind of shoot to three and teams run him off. He was tacking the basket. He was finishing. Uh, after D. Reed, I mean, 13, 7, and 4. Uh, and every time that kid gets a chance to play, he goes out there and, uh, and plays at a high level. Uh, you know, Bones, 10 and 7 as well. Uh, so that was great. You know, obviously, uh, there's no moral victories, you know, um, so tough loss, had chances. I, I think one of the big things, well, well two big things, uh, 64 in the paint for them, uh, just our uh, little mood lighting. I like it. The ambiance. I like it. We get a little some Barry White music on here. We'll be all set. Uh, yeah, candlelight dinner. Uh, but I think it was a 64 in the paint that was just – them driving us, driving us, driving us, and just the inability to, to sit down and guard and shrink the floor. That was one big thing uh, without having watched the film. Uh, and the second was second half, you know, we had 11 turnovers for 16 points. Close game, on the road, undermanned, you know, those are just so valuable, you know, those possessions that you're not getting a shot off, you know. Um, so, you know, the effort was there. A lot of guys stepped up and made good plays, but you know, uh, the, the paint and the turnovers were, uh, in my opinion, the deciding factor. Is that somewhat to be expected at all, though, without all the size that you were missing in Nicola and DeMarcus and Aaron? Like, can that be, you know, made up in any, in any capacity? As in regarding the paint? Uh, well, I think you could, you could point to that. Obviously, you know, we don't have much size uh, maybe in that back line, but uh, your defense starts on the ball. You know what I mean? So uh, you, the point of attack – um, I, I don't know how many blow buys we had. I know at halftime, I think we had around eight blow buys for 16 points. And I have to imagine there was probably eight more, at least in the second half. So uh, that's where it starts. You know, can you sit down and guard and contain? Um, you know, g give guys like, you know, Trent Forrest credit. Uh, you know, he, he went right. He's still going right. I think when he goes home, he's going to be in the right lane. And we let him go right all night long. Uh, and so that's where you have to. Um, just be a little bit more locked into who am I guarding? What are his tendencies? And try to take that away. So, um, yeah, size would help, but I, I think you got to sit down and guard. How much is it? People in unfamiliar positions, time of game, usually they may not be in there at the end. How much of that was? Yeah, I mean, overs? and that's why it was a great experience. I mean, like, you know, I know we lost the game, but I am proud of our guys. Uh, competed, gave ourselves a chance to really undermanned teams, but. Um, I think it's a valid point. You, you got guys out there that, you know, you know, may, may not be there in most situations. And what a great, you know, telling a teaching experience is the best teacher. And for Zeke, for Davon Reed, for Brent Forbes, those guys being out there to close the game, that's, you know, uh, it was positive. And then there's also a lot of learning clips and, and possessions that they can get better at next time they're in that situation. You mentioned Zeke. How much of a luxury is it to have a big that can defend guards the way that you did tonight? There are a couple of just unreal possessions. Yeah, and today in today's NBA, Kate, as you know, it's uh, it, it's so important to have that defensive versatility. Uh, a, a big guy that can switch. I mean, it, it was a small ball battle royale out there, and to have a guy like Zeke who can switch on to a Mike Conley, to a Bogdanovich, to whoever it is, uh, and really sit down and guard not just the first move. But the second move, and then contest and get a block. Uh, and, and that's where I think Zeke's value, um, his ability to defend, his ability to rebound, and his ability to make open threes. Only a second-year player. Um, disappointing he's not in that rising stars game. I think he's a rising star. And, uh, and that's all that matters. He's improving in front of all of our eyes. And then Jermichael Green tonight, especially within that second unit, not all of his contributions showed up on the, the stat sheet. But what did you think of what he brought? Well, uh, I mean, eight, five rebounds, two steals, aggression, physicality, toughness. Uh, we blitzed Mike Conley's pick and rolls a few times, and, and uh, he had a couple of steals, strips, and deflections on those. Um, you know, I'd say, man, you, you don't know if a guy's going to make a shot, but one thing you always know with Jermichael, he's going to play as hard as he can. And he plays so hard, he's one of the few guys that will actually admit when he's tired that he needs to come out. Most guys don't admit it, and they make three mistakes in a row. For Jermichael, he, he just leaves it all out there. Uh, and I love that about him. So, yes, we were undermanned. Our guys competed. Our guys played hard. Just uh, just didn't do enough in the end to get the win. One more. How refreshing was it uh, just to see the shots fall for Bryn? I imagine that's what you guys envisioned. You know, you guys were running all kinds of player screens for him and just 
running plays for him, and he rewarded that. Yeah, and especially coming off of a night where I believe he was one for seven right. in Minnesota. Um, and, you know, no one's harder on Brent Forbes than Brent Forbes. He's a perfectionist, and I think that's what drives him and allows him to be uh, the shooter that he is in his career. Uh, so I'm happy for him, you know, for him to kind of get a game where we're running plays and he's delivering. And the best thing about it is, like, he's not just a one-trick pony. If you take away the three, he has the ability to create his own shot for a mid-range, but also get to the cup and finish. Uh, and that's a luxury, to have a shooter that can hurt you at all three levels, three, mid-range, and at the rim.